Hi and welcome to another ProBlogger video post. Today I want to talk just for a moment or two about getting personal on your blog. And to do so, I'm, uh, I've brought in Henry, who's our, our youngest member of the family, five weeks old, just gone. Being personal on your blog can have a profound impact upon your readers. What I've found over the last few years is that people, yes, they want information on a blog, but more than that, they often want to connect with the blogger. And they want to journey with the blogger and have some sort of a, a relationship with them. And there's a variety of ways that you can actually offer this to your readers without getting too personal. And the first one is to um, speak in the first person to your readers, uh, to use the word I and to tell of your own personal experiences. Also to use the word you and to talk to your readers directly. And so rather than talking about how I did this all the time, actually write posts that are about how you can improve in this area of your life and asking your readers what is your experience in, in a particular topic. Uh, writing with emotion can be something that can have real impact as well. When you are happy, when you're sad, when you're angry, uh, express these different things in the way that you write also. Telling stories from your own personal life. Now, you don't want to tell stories about, you know, what I ate last night or everything that you do in your life, but actually weaving some of your own personal experiences, particularly around the, the niche that you're writing about, can be very um, powerful because you're not just sharing news, you're actually sharing your own experience. Um, sharing in a humorous way, uh, giving humor, telling of the mistakes that you make um, around the topic that you're writing about and the lessons that you're learning, not only through what you've succeeded in, but how you've failed. All of these things can be really powerful. Uh, using image, using video, as we're doing now, um, these things can give you a, a face and give you a voice rather than just the words that you write appearing on your blog. To actually have your voice and your face appear can actually have real impact as well. All of these things uh, can really enhance a blog in, in lots of ways. Um, they, they won't connect with every reader that you have, but you'll find a lot of the readers that you'll have will actually come back more and more the more they know you. And this has an accumulative effect as well. Um, you might do it just the first time and get a small Im have a small impact, but I find that uh, after a year or two of actually sharing something of yourself and sharing in a more personal, conversational way, is you can actually go quite deep with people. And, and when you meet readers face-to-face -face or when you email them, often they'll express to you that they feel like they know you which is quite a profound thing. So anyway, they're just a few thoughts, and I'd be interested to hear what your experience is with adding something personal into your blog. I'm not talking here about having a personal blog, but actually blogging in a personal way. And below this video, I'll link to a series of posts that I wrote on this very topic, adding a personal touch to your blog. And I'd invite you to share some of your ideas on it as well. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on ProBlogger Video Post.